And now, Princess Peach. Damn, you sure called that. Just like the party was supposed to be at the beginning. Greetings to all of you. I'm so glad everyone could be here on this special day. The star at Solma Bowser has been returned to its rightful place in Star Haven. Peace is once returned to the Mushroom Kingdom. Above us, the stars shine with more beauty and power than any than ever before again. It seems that they're sending us their thanks. Mario, Gumbario, Cooper, Bombette, Paracarry, Bow, Watt, Sushi, Michael Esther, and everyone across the lands of the Mushroom Kingdom. We regain peace because of all your efforts. Thank you very much indeed. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the Mushroom Kingdom will enjoy peace and prosperity for a long time to come. Perhaps forever. This is my heartfelt wish. So, let's celebrate! Enjoy the festivities, everyone! And... Here we go. Remember that thing Luigi said he had to do? Well, here it is! Luigi is leading the parade of some kind. He's leading some kind of parade, I guess. Come on. Come on, Luigi. We've only got like eight minutes. Alright, now you get this really cool song. Okay, Luigi is leading a parade that will play during the credits now. I always love this... I always love the parade at the end, okay? It's definitely a lot cooler than a lot of the other, you know, ending sequences that a lot of other games have. It's definitely up there, you know, with Earthbound, like, showing you, like, all those, uh... All those, uh, photographs from your adventure. It's definitely up there as a favorite with that. Like, that you have the starship and all your party members are above it. A lot of them are previously unseen on animations right there. Bo laughing infinitely with her fan. Ha, <laughs> Cooper. Baton Twirlers. Hey, Chuck Quizmo! A lot of these are actually really funny. Like, um, I might actually stay kind of quiet during this, though, because a lot of these are just really funny. Hey, <laughs> fireworks. And check it out, it's the Trojan Bowser. And we got the Koopa Bros on top of it. Nice. The coolest of cool. And... Bombs? Actually, it does... No, what the fuck poem would be a lot better right there. Yeah, alright. We have the tuna man whale thing right there. That seems to have become a popular fad on my channel page, I guess. Colorado and his wife. We have enough stuff in the Nomadi Mice. We have Rolf leaving town because he's made a lot of money selling badges in Totown, but he wants to move on. We have Tut and Cuba being chased by the chomp still. It never stopped chasing him after chapter two. Graphics designers right there, as you can see. Really cool. Oh, I like how Tut and Koopa, like, turned to the side and the enemy didn't see him. It's kind of an homage to the abil abilities they had planned Paper Mario 2. Buzzar had some baby vultures or buzzards or whatever. Again, graphics designers, you guys rocked in this game. For N64, this game looks so cool. I like the 2.5D style. Het tubba blubba. It's hard. Nah. Looks like tubba blubba and the boos are friends, but the heart is still evil. <laughs> Looks like Goomba King landed in a tree after we he went, you know, blasting off like Team Rocket at the end of the prologue, and they never managed to get him out. Until now. What is next? Looks like Yoshi's Island, maybe. Yep, Yoshi's Island. God, so many cool things in this game. Raphael the Raven. Raphael the Raven, he was such a cool boss in Yoshi's, in, uh, Yoshi's Island. I don't know about you guys, though, but actually, I love Yoshi's Island, but I hate Yoshi's Story. Yoshi's Story is such a terrible game. I mean, graphically, it's impressive for the time, though, but God. Yeah, Lava Piranha, freaking hate you. <laughs> um... Yoshi's Story, though, it's just such a terrible game. I mean... It's so pathetically easy that you, like, pretty much have to, like, die. You, I mean, I mean, you pretty much have to, like, purposely die if you want to, like, have any challenge in that game. It's like... 
and I swear to God, there's like no real challenge at all. The whole game is about eating fruit, which really, I know it was kind of an experiment with platforming. Oh God, here comes Gourmet Guy. Ah! Uh, you shrank Huff and Puff. Huff and Puff, you deserve that. Ah! Uh, gourmet Guy's trying to eat him. <laughs> you deserve that, Huff and Puff. You have... Huff and, Pro, Huff and Puff, you have caused so many children trauma while playing video games because you're so damn annoying of a boss that little kids just have so much trouble beating. They got a Crystal King clones. That one of them was a dupla ghost. Uh, was this another Crystal King? Ah, uh, uh, another dupla ghost. Mm -hmm, that's the real Crystal King. And there's the Crystal Bits. Ah, the Crystal Bits carry him away. Junior Troopa. But anyway, yeah, it was... That <laughs> Junior Trooper and Kami Cooper having a magic fight. Magic fight! <laughs> she can teleport, wow. Juggling hammers! That kind of reminds me of the uh, Red Green show, like when they uh, were doing like this mockumentary thing, like saying there was like some guy who was like trying to break a world record like for the longest time, like riding a unicycle while standing on his head while performing the high wire act, juggling hammers or something like that. <laughs> and Bowser is not pleased. <laughs> he scorched them both off screen. <laughs> oh god. This game is so cool. And there's the seven star spirits. And they've all taken places on Christmas trees, it seems. Seems kind of degrading, doesn't it? You know, being a star spirit and being put on a Christmas tree. But, eh, well, I guess I need a creative place in the ending. And we have ice skaters that are skating on concrete somehow. Mayor Penguin and his annoying wife. There's Todofsky again! From Super Mario RPG. It is the only one just for me. Toads and Symphony. And here's that singing toad that you don't even know about until you see your toad down. And there's some kind of heart, like a harp made of lights behind her. Cool. Amazing daisies! Oh god. Are you guys gonna like sing and like miss me again like you did before? Check it out, the uh, Merlin family. Focusing the magic. Hey, there's even the ancestor right there. At least the son and the wise Wisterwood. It's pretty cool. Got so many memories just come rushing back of this awesome game every time you see this credit sequence. It's it's just it really is like the perfect way to end off such a good game. Special thanks to the Super Mario Club. I really should research what the Super Mario Club is. And there's the air traffic control shy guy. And we have some really big thing. It looks like a giant version of the toy box made in lights. It is! There's a general guy. Hey, it looks like they're rapping. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if the shy guys became rappers. That'd be so awesome. There's general guy. Ah, there's the platoon of shy guys. Who would have known shy guys could have been such great military officers? No. Oh. Come on, credits move faster. We only have like a minute left. I really don't want to cut this into two parts. And apparently toads can light up the spots on their head. Who would have known? That could have been a lot more useful. I always wondered, how come there's never been a toad party member in a Mario game? Like in a RPG game at least. I just wonder that. How come we've like never had like a real like toad party member that accompanies you through the whole game though? Because I mean, eh, never mind. I'm thinking too much. I mean, they've really not really shown that many abilities, but they gotta have something redeeming factor, don't they? And Mario and Peach on the last float with Twink. Last time we ever see Twink for the entire series. Copyright 2001 Nintendo, one of the last games released for the N64, actually, coming out in February 2001 in America. Hell is real. Game by Intelligent Systems, yes, yes, yes. And there go Mario and Peach. Aw, how cute. All right, here we go. There's a really cool view of the castle at night from Mario's house. They're gonna go inside and get busy. Nah, this isn't a rated E game. We weren't. We're not gonna see that on screen. The end. Okay, now this is one of the very few N64 games where there's nothing after you can do after the end. You actually, it'll just stay like this forever until you turn it off. Even on the Wii version, you're gonna have to reset the software or go to the Wii menu or something. Um. Anyway. Um. I guess that does it. Um, alright. I'm gonna end this off right now, okay? Um, thank you, Nintendo. Uh, thank you, Intelligent Systems. Thank you, Shigeru Miyamoto, for the concept. Thank all of you for 
making this really awesome game. I mean, it's been one of my favorites ever since I was a kid. Um, I thank you all for watching. Um, I guess that's about it. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys next playthrough.